Hi class, today we're going to be looking at waves and kind of our introduction to waves. This will be in chapter 14 if you're referring back to your book. So a definition of a wave is just a disturbance that carries energy through matter or space. The medium, if you see that word when it refers to a wave, is the environment that the wave travels in, so water or air as examples. Waves do transfer energy. So we just studied energy, potential and kinetic energy. Waves do work on the objects that they hit. So waves will spread out in all directions. They carry energy. You can see that up here. If you drop a rock into a pond, you'll see the waves travel out in all directions. It's not just a one direction thing. Same thing happens with earthquake waves. They go out in all directions. The energy is conserved in the system because of the law of conservation of energy. So the, um, the tallest waves, if you drop this um, pebble into the pond, will be right at the source. And then the waves seem to get smaller, so it seems like your energy is being lost, but actually the energy is just taking up more space. So if you're at the epicenter of an earthquake, you'll have the most damage, but you still have that energy, that total amount of energy is still the same. It's just spread out to bigger areas if you're further away from the epicenter. So um, waves do work. They transfer energy and they do work. Water waves do work on a boat, for example. Sound waves do work on your eardrum and light waves do work on your eye. So the energy of waves are shown here. High energy waves have a high amplitude. Low energy waves have a low amplitude. And you can look at this in a spring as well, um, which are examples of sound waves. Wave speed. The speed of a wave will depend on the medium it travels through. One of the key things about this is that wave speed will change based on the state of matter it's traveling through. So in gases, the particles are really spread out, so the wave actually travels slower because it's actually the particles that carry the sound wave or that are pushed by the sound wave or by the light wave, whatever it might be, and in order for them to pass to the, the light to the next particle, they have to travel further to get there. In liquids, the particles are closer together, so the energy is transferred faster. Because the particles are closer together, they pass that energy on to the next particle faster. And in solids, the particles are really close together, so the wave can travel very quickly. Because they're touching each other, that energy is passed very quickly from one particle to the next. So our parts of the wave here, we have a wavelength, which is from point A to point B in our picture. The wave height is our amplitude, and you can see down in the bottom picture that a little bit better. Amplitude is from the baseline, saying that there's no motion in that um, water or whatever the object is, calm sea level, you can see at the top there. Amplitude is from that calm spot to the top of the wave or from that calm spot to the bottom of the wave. And then wave frequency is the number of wave crests that pass point A each second. So you'd pick a point out, you'd say how many are passing that point um, in one second. Um, to kind of finish out this introduction, we have the Doppler effect, and this is when wave source is moving. So in this picture here, you can see this individual uh, has an ambulance that's moving towards her, and that ambulance sound, since it, the object's moving towards her, it's pushing the waves to her. So it's coming at her faster, the pitch is going to be louder, the sound is just louder. And you can see in the image there that the wavelengths coming to her ear are much faster. As the object moves away, the wavelengths lengthen, and so the sound starts to dissipate. It's not nearly as high pitch of a sound as the object is moving away. This also happens with light, and we'll get into this in another section, with the red shift and blue shift. Um, and it helps to indicate uh, objects moving away from you or objects moving towards you based on the wavelengths of light.